you. It's sunset, guys. You see how beautiful it feels? <laughs> okay, hi. Whoa, don't like that. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Okay, so what are we doing today? What are we doing? Um, We're gonna get straight into it because I don't have time for the foolishness. So this right here, we're gonna ignore. I am clearly stretching my hair, and if you don't really know, that means I can't really help you. Um, and I just leave it like that usually normally in my house and just ignore it, please. Thank you. Also ignore the um, jazz music in the background. <laughs> it's how I focus mm -mm. Bowl, right? <coughs> Ashley, what are we doing today? <laughs> well, I saw these recipes. Okay. Well, I was gonna say Oh, I'm making desserts bef Okay, because I was gonna okay <laughs> Funny story. So I was gonna make dessert before dinner and I was gonna say oh um, who doesn't want dessert before dinner? Um, and then I ended up eating dinner. Anyway, so here we are making dessert. It's all these recipes on, also don't, don't mind anything here. You've rotted in bed all day. I woke up at like 12 o'clock and then I had to stop in my high school to pick up my diploma. Insert clips. Graduated. Ugh, stop it. Transcript and other files and irrelevant stuff. Okay, last time in the school check. It isn't a sad thing to walk out. This is my favorite corridor. I never walked down this corridor often when I was in school here, but it is my favorite. Look at how pretty it is. <laughs> hey. Yep, I had to pick up my diploma. Um, finally, out, finally out. Finally out the piece. Oh, I don't know why I keep burping. Finally graduated, actually, entirely. And then I saw these recipes for peanut butter. Ooh, wrong peanut butter. This is a good one. That's peanut butter. <laughs> My sister zone. <laughs> Did you guys just see me fake it out? Peanut butter blondies. So I need a few more things. Sugar. So we're making, yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Okay. I don't know which ones I need, so I'm just getting all of them. A ladle or a spoon, I don't know, so we'll have both. Hey, okay, this is all we need, right? Flour, uh huh. An egg. Okay, that's it. That's been my day so far. I've done nothing but watch Lakia J TV, Girl on the Grams. <laughs> and now we're making peanut butter blondies. Should I have this really great breakfast? Put that in. This little tuna avocado bowl, rice bowl thing. It's good. Oh, I don't have butter. Okay, what are some alternates to butter? Allegedly, olive oil will do the trick. So we're just gonna get into it. Vanilla, this is the best brand of vanilla. Um, I'm not biased. <laughs> this is the one that my grandma used growing up. All my family used this growing up. I believe the brand is Jamaican. It has the Jamaican flag on it and my entire Jamaican family uses it. It's just more potent, it tastes better. The brand is called Benjamin's. This vanilla and it looks like this. Anyway, I have butter because every time my sister's best friend comes over, I'm talking about you, Alex. She makes scrambled eggs with buttered toast. So we're gonna get started. <laughs> You guys want to see what I'm doing? But if you see what I'm doing, then you can't see my face. What's more important here? Let's keep it a buck. I'm putting in an egg. That's what I'm doing. Um, let me wash my hands. That's disgusting. You know, I can't even blame her for having eggs every day for breakfast. I don't know if that's what she has every day for breakfast, but whatever, she's here. Because, you know, I've been having savory breakfast recently, and it's honestly, it's been a lot better. Like, I went, I want to say maybe a year having oats pretty much every single day for breakfast. It was great. Like, I don't regret it at all. But I will say there is a noticeable di Equal parts sugar and flour. Okay. Savory breakfast recently. Not usually eggs, though, because it just takes a little bit too much effort to make in the morning. Avocado toast. This absolutely bomb egg bagel, uh, bagel, uh, avocado, guacamole, kale. It was great. I can make it one day. You guys, we can make it one day together. Half, no, not half a cup, a whole cup. Darn it, gosh darn it. Yeah, it's been really great having savory breakfast, so I can't even blame her really. I thought maybe we could talk about my history with peanut butter, peanut butter blondies. I'm not really a chocolate person. Don't get me wrong, I will get down to a great brownie, Cadbury milk eggs, one of my friend's favorite candy ever, and she introduced me to them, and I actually can't get enough of them. I will get down with chocolate, so that's a full cup of flour. But like, is it my first choice? Never. Why do I feel like equal parts sugar and flour? 
Guys, can you tell I don't bake from scratch? Equal parts sugar and flour. We're gonna add half a cup, wow, okay. Half a cup of peanut butter, look at it. When I was a kid, I adored peanut butter. It was like my favorite thing ever. And honestly, eating it like this was my fantasy and is now my fantasy. Love blondies more and I love peanut butter way more. So this is like the perfect recipe. My dream now to just eat peanut butter like this straight out and when I was younger, I loved it just the same. I think that's also the story, no. For some unknown reason, when I hit age like, I don't know, 10 or something, I could not stomach peanut butter. I would gag at Reese's. I'm still not a peanut butter chocolate person. Mom used to make us sandwiches for breakfast, for lunch at school, right? My sister used to get a pe peanut butter sandwich, used to get a peanut butter sandwich, and I used to get a jelly sandwich because we both didn't like peanut butter and jelly together, but she didn't like jelly, and I had a problem with peanut butter for a weird span. Six years of my life. Jelly sandwiches, which I mean, were quite mangled because like the jelly would just soak into the bread and it was soggy and it was gross, but I would eat it anyway because I love jelly. So I like peanut butter more now. But I mean, we had a bad relationship for, for, for a hot second, you know what I'm saying? Whole part olive oil half a cup apparently this can replace butter according to siri when have you ever ever put in half a cup of am i crazy okay whatever you say nutrient dense <laughs> anyway one day i want to say last year when i was 16 all of a sudden they were just good to me again uh peanut butter it was just good to me again and then i couldn't get enough of it i'd have it every single morning in my oatmeal a cup of sugar pause P pause Pause. I just realized I put in the sugar twice. Like I- <laughs> ah! it Better be the greatest things in my life because the people in those comments were acting like it was literally created by chef, by the most known pastry chef. I wouldn't know who that is. Look at the comments. Taylor's boyfriend even loved it. You know what I'm saying? Look at, like they were hyping this junk to the Heavens and back. Speaking of heavens, has anyone watched Queen Charlotte? On which is George! That? I will stand with you between the heavens and the earth. I will tell you where you are. Do you love me? I love you, Charlotte. My heart calls your name. Can't get enough of it. I'm watching it. I'm re-watching it with my family. I'm kind of convinced everyone in my family to watch it, except for my sister because she convinced me to watch it. Give me everything I need right now in life. That's what it's giving me. What it's looking like so far, it's honestly looking amazing. Peanut butter and I, we got along again. That's why I'm expecting these to be the greatest things ever because it's literally just peanut butter and sugar. How bad can it really be? Totally forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about something. It's gonna be important too. Only with us. Very good storyteller, guys, but I am a good rambler. So there is, how, there we go. Actually, can I eat it? Wait, can I eat this? No, because it's egg. Is like what you're seeing. So the only thing is, I didn't really read the instructions in terms of how to combine them, what the consistency should look like. This is like this is cookie dough. This is cookie dough. Maybe we're making peanut butter cookies. <laughs> What's so wrong with that? This is the post grad life, though, guys. Don't be excited if you're about to graduate high school. Okay, maybe this is just my post grad life. I have a total of three friends. One is out of town with her family. One lives where I moved from, so can't see her. The other also lives where I moved from. So this is the post, and I don't have a job. So the post grad life is watching the entirety of the Fast and Furious series with my brother, doing interviews of Corey Milchrist and Inia, oh, Inia, wow. India Armatifio. I'm watching Love Island with my sister, Love Island UK, the new season of it. And I'm rotting in my bed. That is the grad life. No, I'm kind of, I'm kind of relishing in it. This looks amazing. That looks amazing. I wish I read the instructions. Put this in my air fryer because my oven is still broken. I figure this out off camera. I forgot the salt and the um, vanilla, so we're doing that now. I should have added the wet ingredients together first and then the dry ingredients because adding this vanilla in is going to be a pain in my booty. It's always a pain. It's always a pain. This isn't brownie batter material. Sorry that you guys didn't see any of that process. I really just put everything in a bowl and mixed it. You guys didn't really miss much. It took about 10 minutes. It's actually beautiful. Look at that. Is that ASMR for you guys? Okay, I'm 
hasty, you know? I don't ever line my pans with anything. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there and pray that keeps it from sticking. I make banana bread like I usually do. Um, literally only because we just don't have that many bananas. I don't know if it's not banana season or anything. Um, that made no sense. We just haven't been buying that many bananas for some reason. We don't really have extras. Like we just got this bunch and there's only two left. Like batter into the pan. Ignore how dirty my, my space is guys. Cleaning as we speak. No more mess. Push these into the corner. I just washed my hands. That's why they're wet. No other reason. Hey. Speaking of Spider-Man, I really, really, really want to watch it and I'm watching it tomorrow. So I actually might take you guys with me. These look and smell delicious. The only reason I'm talking over them and like, and like doing all of this is, and like touching it with my hands and stuff. I mean, I already washed my hands so I can do whatever I want. I'm usually the only person in my family to eat these things that I make. So I'm probably gonna be the only one to eat this. I kind of want to try it, but I know that there's raw egg in there, but I still want to try it. I don't really know how long or what temperature because I didn't check the recipe and I won't check the recipe. Thumbnail. Okay. Into the air fryer it goes. I guess I'll see you guys when it gets out because there's not really much else to do in the meantime, except for maybe dance. I don't have the Megan knees. I'm gonna actually clean now because look, the mess is still here. I lied. It looks really pretty. It smells good too, so. Kind of setting, so I turn on the overhead lights. This is just a little tester square. Consistency is horrible. It's literally crumbling. It's not even coming out. Wow, lovely. Oh, yum. Look at that. My phone just ran out of space, yay. Okay, Let whatever, let's just try this. It doesn't look appetizing. It's like still, okay, whatever, let's just try it. So it tastes good. It tastes like vanilla and peanut butter. It's like, it's like malleable. I will say that the top has a nice crunch. Okay, so it tastes good. With a little bit of ice cream, maybe even with yogurt. It's good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 taste. The practicality, it's getting a five. It's getting a three. Because it's easy to make, it brings it up. But because it comes out like mush, it brings it down. So I'm gonna give it a five, not good or bad. People rate differently. For me, five is right in the middle. Seven is average. That's what it is for me. Sorry about it. I don't see why not, you know? I don't know, I'd make it again, I think. Do with that what you will. And I ran out of space, but pretty much the consensus was yes, I like it. I will be making them again. My dad liked it this time with not two cups of sugar. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like sweet things, make it, why not? If you don't like sweet things, don't make it. If you like peanut butter, make it, why not? If you don't like peanut butter, don't make it. Literally, it's common sense. You see the ingredients. Anyway, bye, that's all, Mwah. love you. <laughs>